Welcome back, everybody, for the third and final key to staying burn proof with the one and only Frank DeSico. And we are here at the Ohio Sports and Fitness Center. And um, we got, you'll see in the pictures, we got Sweat Equity. Here Sweat we got, the, I love this logo. You're saying yeah. one, one of your buddies drew this? Yeah, correct? so one of, the, one of the main strength guys here, Tyler Cook, actually um, okay. hand drew that. Um, Thank you, Tyler. For, yeah, my favorite thanks, shirt. Ty. All right. Um, pretty talented, you know, outside of just being a trainer, he does some, yeah. some freehand drawing. Um, awesome. He drew it for our powerlifting competition, and I thought, what a great, you know, shirt to make out of that. So Love it. We, we did. All right, I'm glad you did. Yeah. <laughs> so very cool. Um, if you haven't seen the first two videos, um, please go back and check them out. Great check stuff. Out. I, I just keep having these, like, light bulb, aha moments throughout. And Frank's been a great sport because I'm like asking a 27 minute long question and you're just... Ah, that's what it's about, and then man. You have to see the second video for his answer to I the world's longest question. I feel like you summed it up in the world's shortest answer. It was perfect. Yep. So, but, you ran um, a marathon, yeah. I gave you a sprint. <laughs> that's right. Thank you. All right, cool. There you go. Teamwork. Um, but uh, <laughs> awesome. Without further ado, brother, just uh, let's jump into this final key to stay in burn proof. Yeah, so I think, um, you know, we, we kind of were touching into the uh, alluded aspect of number three from number yeah. two and this you like that yeah, yeah. i love that you know come, come, sometimes <laughs> you got to come up with some weird ways in which to just you know trans transition into stuff <laughs> love it love it <laughs> so i think i think we started the, the second video with a little bit of uh, a brain fart too right yeah. with the oh my e gosh <laughs> yeah eric thomas eric thomas never i will we'll never do, i'll never forget YouTube. that i'll never get that out. i got the point down can I get your point there? All right, cool. Awesome. Um, but yeah, so, you know, this idea of failure being number two and how well you're able to adapt to that, right? Yeah. But ultimately, you're only going to adapt. You're only going to evolve. You're only going to keep going over those hurdles towards that end goal, towards that sunshine, so to speak, mm -hmm. if the passion still lies, you know, within you. The, the, the reason, the purpose for what it is that you're trying to do. So, again, that idea of, um, you know, having that value and having that niche and, and being willing to, to deal with failure are only as good as if long-term aspect, right? You know, from a long-term mindset, you're willing to, you know, c continue doing what it is that you're doing out of yeah. passion, right? So this idea the of- passion drives the Passion purpose. is what yeah. drives what it is that you do. If yeah. you're stemming any type of, you know, business or, or thought or, or action out of something other than passion, other than something that is genuine and, and, and innate, true, yeah. organic, so to speak, to what it is who you are or, or what you're trying to do, it will ultimately not be genuine, right? right? Or it will ultimately fail because people will see through that, right? Um, yes. And, and I think the, the short-term aspect, sure, it can be very successful, um, very, very, you know, financially beneficial, so to speak, right. within, again, this, this aspect of, of, of a gym or, or any business. Yeah. But, you know, what, what would make a gym, which are very hard, successful and less less transient yeah um, meaning, meaning people coming and going and people you know being able to stay longer you know again I think of a gym and I think man how do I create an atmosphere how do I create a product how do I create something that you know if people move because people's lives change daily correct they'll yeah. get it they, they live here you know we had people take pictures of the O, like home of the O, like you know, new new home, and then a week later, hey man, I'm I just got a job. I just moved to California. You yeah. know, whatever. It's like <laughs> that's just it, what it's what happens. Yeah. You know, yeah. and, and we have to be only able Ohio. To, I, wait, now I'm going to California. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. No, just and they're, kidding. They're like, just, oh my god, I love it. Like this is you know, blah, you know, what, it's just great. <laughs> Which again makes me think, you know, this is a place they feel comfortable Correct. with. They they enjoy. But at the end of the day, I can't expect them to be here, you know, forever just because it's they love control. the place. It's out of my it's control. Out of your control. What is in my control, though, is being able to develop a, a place, this product that stems from love. It stems from, you know, uh, yeah, a, a very character-driven place. Obviously, again, seeing my sister, seeing my nephew, seeing my dad, seeing my mom, yeah. my dog. It stemmed from f a family-oriented, you know, aspect. Yeah. Um, but again, this idea of passion, right? It's, it's a place where if someone does move 30 minutes away, they're still going to want to come here because Correct. they're not going to get that somewhere else. Correct. You know, and that's kind of the 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 value of number one that I really want to instill in in what atmosphere we create here mm -hmm. is this idea of, hey man, you come through the door like we talked about in number two. You come through the door, you're going to get 100 percent of me. You're going to get my attention. I'm going to be 100 percent in your ear every day trying to ask you, you know, how was your day? You know, what, what do you do? For, you know, I know every member's name. 
You know, yeah. I know everybody because it means something to me. Right. So, you know, why I'm able to do that though is because I'm passionate about what I do. I love yeah. what I do. I don't work a day in my life because I'd be doing this anyway. Right. So, you know, I'm willing to fail then. I'm willing to fall. And like I said in video one, I'm willing to do that and get up because I, I know I'm not going to fail because I'm, I love what I do and I'm going I'm to be failure successful. Failure is not permanent. Failure is not permanent. Yeah. It's a part of the journey. Yeah. It's, right. it's a must. I embrace the failure. You know, yeah. we have that quote over there where several times, and excuse my language if it's inappropriate, but... Um, you can say, can we bleep it? We bleep it. <laughs> it's not that bad, but, you know, nonetheless. <laughs> no, you're, you know, I'm sorry. We put it up there for, it's supposed to be the quote of the day, but we had it up there for like a week, or we even brought it back, because it was, it was great. It really resonated with me, too. Yeah. And, it, and the quote was, embrace the suck. Right? Oh, dude, that's I mean, not bad at all. Okay, no, I, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm like, what are we? <laughs> yeah, you're like, like, Dave, be ready. Like, we, need, hey. we, need, we need to edit. No, all right, sorry, go ahead. But yeah, I, mean, yeah okay. I think that just has so many you know, little branches that you can think yeah. mentally about how that applies to the your pain, own life. The, suffering, the pain, the suffering, yeah, whatever. You know, in here physically, yeah. like, you know, grinding through it, but you know, also just in life itself. Yeah. You got to be willing to embrace that. Yeah. You know, otherwise, you're going to last two minutes in here yeah. and you're going to be gone. And you're going to be gone. What is it? Two minutes of anything? Two minutes, I mean, two, two minutes of sure. life. Two minutes of know? life. Yeah. yeah and, the <laughs> and I always refer to it as a vicious circle, right? People yeah. always come in here, you know, and they're transitioning from another gym or, or whatever. They're just trans transitioning from being, you know, in a, in a state of really doing nothing, right? And right. I think that's the biggest one that I'm really kind of helping people understand this vicious cycle of, yeah, well, I want you to understand when you come in here, and as we talked about in the last video, if yeah. you're going to put in the work for two weeks and you're going to start to feel sore and you're going to start to feel, you know, this and that, but then you're like, man, I don't think I can do it. And then you stop, you know, well, now when you stop, you're like, man, I'm pissed at myself because I should yeah. be in the gym, yeah. you know, so, and then you get back in the gym, but ah, man, it was too expensive to do personal training or it was yeah. too expensive to go to this gym. So I want to go to this, but then you're doing stuff all wrong. So then you're not seeing any results. Yeah. So now you're back to not doing anything for a while, but yeah. then now you're eating cupcakes again. And then you're like, man, <laughs> like I need to be back in the gym. So again, it's just a yeah. vicious cycle of just never. In, and by that time you realize or get on the right path and are able to invest in yourself. Right. Right. It's been a, been a year, which think about how much you could have accomplished in that year mm -hmm. if you would have just told yourself the first time like hey let's let's buckle down let's do it yeah. you know what I mean like the one quote we had on the board the other day of, of paying attention yeah. right yeah and, and dude, you I love remember that, that right <laughs> so it's it, a money in, quote invest, like, your, like, invest it's your time play on money words. invest yeah. your time wisely yeah right yeah. so you know, you're gonna come in here then, then, then learn what educate yourself yeah. learn what it is that you're, you're trying to do and and, and grow and, yeah. and you know evolve you don't, you don't have to be passionate about working out that's that's my job you right. know, because I love this. Right. My job is to help you understand how it's beneficial to your right. life. Right. Yeah, I think, like, so, like for me personally, I think about like, um, yeah, when when you know, you're you're getting me pumped up, but you know, like exercise, you know, eat better, respect myself more, and um, you know, I, I think of like for me, it's not it's not about like there there are times I'm like, dude, I'm gonna run a marathon, I'm gonna run a 5K. <laughs> I'm gonna be a sub 16 minute 5K again. <laughs> Just watch. It will take a year. Dude, no. It will. It would take the rest of my life and a lot of like bionic legs. Or I don't know. I would. Um, but ultimately, like for me, what? And I'm just thinking as, as you're talking, but like I want to walk my daughter down the aisle. Yeah. Yeah. You know sure. What I mean, I want to. See, I mean, like, dude, I just want to see my kids have kids and their yeah, kids. Like, so, sure. like, for me, it's again, it's I don't like broccoli. <laughs> I like it better than some other vegetables. Yeah. But it's like I don't yeah, I don't like getting up, you know, for me like really to get if I'm going to get a workout in, I got to be up at 4 a.m. Otherwise, sure. it's over, you yeah, know. Sure. So, um, I don't like those things. Like you said like that's your job is to love that stuff. Right. And it's my job to understand that that stuff is what's going to allow me to be the person I want to be, be there for well said. the people I well want to be. Said. Said there. So, yep. cool. All right. Sorry, man. No, that's great. Aha uh -huh moment. Yeah, so. that's great. Yeah. So, cool. The uh, so pa passion, and it's hard, man, because there's so many. There's so many with like, passion and sacrifice, you know. Yeah, sure. Embrace the suck, bro. You know, <laughs> like passion. It's 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 one of these things where like you do feel it, mm -hmm. but it's like you can't see it. You right. can't you can't touch it. Right. Um. So like. And I don't understand, like, again, I can't wrap my head around how someone could stay, it, whether it's a job, a business, a re 
I mean, I've been in some toxic relationships before. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I was, just, I'm like, love never quits. Like, dude, you should have quit like a year <laughs> ago. You know what I mean? Right. So, but ultimately, um, yeah, they're just, you're just hollow. You're just empty if yeah. you don't have the passion driving you. Yep. Um, and you and I both try, I mean, why are we doing this video? We're trying to get you passionate about something. We want your life to be better. Yep. Um, and that's part of the passion in us is Absolutely. trying to help people be better. But, um, I wasn't passionate about running and I wasn't passionate about money. Like those, those two things are probably the last thing right. that I ever saw myself doing right. are the things I was, ended up being great at. Sure. And, um, but like, for do, whether it's here or outside of the gym, but like how do you, how would you say, like what would you pay attention to? What things would you look into if someone's like, I don't know what my passion is? Yeah. Like, wh what are some, you know, what are some first steps? What are some baby steps to find your passion? That's a great question, you know? Um, I think, again, we can kind of go back to, what was it, video two, where, you know, this idea of, or, or no, sorry, video one, when, mm -hmm. you know, I was given, so the, many given the examples. Awesome, so many videos, awesome, so many so awesome many videos, examples. So many, so many awesome. <laughs> But, um, you know, again, talking about that idea when I was in North Carolina of, um, you know, being a part of something really great and the title was awesome, you the know. The title. I the feel title. like too, people get too attached to the title of what, they're, yeah, what sure. they are, not feeling. who they are. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I think, I don't know, it's, it's a great question. The first thing that came to mind when you said that was you're going to know that you truly are passionate about something when you feel, like you said, when that hollow feeling doesn't feel like it exists anymore, right? Yeah. You feel like a part of you is able, you're just able to smile. You're able to take yeah. a breath. You're able to relax a little bit. Yeah. Again, I think too many people focus on the wrong aspects of yeah. what passion ultimately can help, right? If you were in the, the business you're in now, but your main focus was on how much money you're gonna, make, you're gonna mm -hmm. make, how long are you gonna last within that business? Dude. You're not gonna last and that, That's why, last long. For you, so talking about 70% failure in baseball, yeah. you're helping. I think it's a uh, almost 90% <laughs> sure. turnover in the first two years of sure. our, but it's because people yeah. aren't getting people aren't getting in it to be passionate for people. They're right. they're getting it to like, hey, there's a lot of money in this, you know. Right. Um, so the same thing with you, man. Like it just yeah. it all looks awesome. Yeah. So I'm gonna get in because I want to look awesome or yeah, you know whatever. Sure. But uh, yeah, yeah, no, dude, that. Uh, yeah, so again, okay. it's, it's, it's like if, if, if I'm focusing on starting this business because I look the part and then all of a sudden all these people that are right. coming through my door I see as a dollar sign as opposed to Tyler Carnett, you know, mm -hmm. or Mike Borky or mm -hmm. these guys that are in my building right now. What's you know? up? Yeah, <laughs> right? Shout out. Yeah, shout out to them. <laughs> um, the point again, right? Yeah, yeah I love you. you got the point down, man. I'm, I'm going to work on it. Dave. After this, we need to keep working. So Dave's our, our, our video ninja behind the scenes. He's really great at what he does. He's, oh, he's the man. So we're going to work on points. It'll be good. So, dude, you need like a point machine yeah, somewhere. Point, just, Maybe just like a pointers. mirror just, specifically just, just for. Just it's like that. You can like outline <laughs> the mirror and be like, fingers here. You're like, so awesome. Cool. So yeah, so, the, so you're talking about like, you feel like passion, you can, you'll never find your passion if your reasons are wrong. If that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, like you know, if you're, if you're intent, for why you're doing something, you know, no matter what you're doing, you know, is is not being is not stemmed from the right from the right, you know, part of you or, or, or right purpose or right driven characteristic, whatever the case is. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, you're never gonna you're gonna always be searching because you're never gonna be ultimately yeah. fulfilled. You know what I mean? You're yeah. gonna always be wondering what I am passionate about because you're not diving into what that thing is that's outside of the concrete action or thing that you're currently doing. I think yeah. too many people are invested in the surface level aspect of what it is they're doing and that action being what fulfills them versus the underlying feelings, emotions, or you know whatever that's attached to that, right? Yeah. Again, I'm not in the fitness industry just because I love fitness. Sure, I love fitness, but I can go to any gym or do anything and go right. work out and, it's, and, for any, and at that point, it would become more of an escape for me. It would be my therapy, right? I feel like, yeah, I know for me too, like especially in my running days, that's where I would go. I mean, and a lot of like, like a lot of people team, do that. Team IBB, like the, I, I'd usually, like everything Team IBB related, a lot of the 
I had a lot of bad ideas, but like all the good ideas, I was out on a run, yeah, listening sure. to an audio book, you know, yeah, and yeah. I just like, oh, you know, like one of those things. So, but um, yeah, there's always that escape factor. So it's like you don't want to be, ex you never want to escape your passion. You're not running from your passion. Never. You're, no. So. And again, and it's not like I, you know, all of a sudden have everything figured out. You know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, again, going back to the question of how do people really discover their passion? It's, it's, it's again, listening and, and turning inward right. more than anything. Don't be so focused on the action of what you're doing, but how that action makes you feel, right? So yeah. if that action makes you feel happy, right? If you feel, if you feel like there's a, more of a heartbeat there, yeah. you're more alive, you're more um, in the moment, right? I have the quote on the board, when you're here, be present. Right, and again, it's it's in tribute to Kobe Bryant, right, yes. and and understanding this idea of hey, tomorrow is not guaranteed. What is guaranteed is right yeah. now, you know, yeah. and really be present in that moment. Yeah. So being able to engage in the moment you're in and understand how does this moment make me feel, right? And if this moment makes me feel really happy, if I feel good, then it's something that can be derived from passion, something yeah. that I enjoy doing, right? Right, and it doesn't have to be like you're reinventing the wheel within that, right? You're in what you're doing now from a career standpoint because you love people. You love interacting oh, yeah. with people. You love... I hate what I do. I love who I do it for. So yeah. your passion I is... I hate what I do. Is, right. <laughs> <laughs> I hate my industry. But I you mean, love that's this. The truth. I, I hate my industry, but... Because of what the industry I love, stands for I love going by to, and large. Right. I love going to battle for the people I, for yeah, the people I love. And I love... I mean, I, I love the fight. I love... I love... Again, talk, you were talking about... I think it was the first video. Just talking about like... You know, for a while, it was like proving the industry wrong, yes. of how it could be done. Yeah. But I think too, from our conversation, I, I just really, I, I'm, you're helping me focus on like it's, it's proving myself right that it can be done. That it's, it's, I'm not, we didn't invent finance. We're inventing new. We're, we're inventing a better way to do it. Yep. For the, the talking about the relationship. Yep. How do you make? How do you make? You know, the mundane fun and the fun things more fun. Absolutely. Know, how do you make it? Tell about that, that. How does it feel to to do those things? So, yeah. so thank you. <laughs> yeah. So again, on that point, I hate it sometimes. That, that, you know, but, but that, that I, I agree with that in a certain sense. To where again, Instagram, you know, the stereotypes that are attached to gym owners or or right. gyms or the fitness industry in general, and how very superficial or, you know, just almost barbaric it can be in certain times. You yeah. know. To be able to oh, kind of put oh, that yeah. right, to put that stereotype. I am great. How are you? <laughs> I will crush you. Yeah, that, right. Well, to, and, and again, to your credit, brother, I think that that's something that. Uh, and again, every time we're talking, maybe I was, I was watching, you know, this speech, or I was listening to this yeah, podcast, yeah. I was reading this book, I got the quote on the board. Yeah. Like every time we're talking, but like I think that's the thing. If if anybody watching this, like, you work every muscle in your body, but I would say that, you know hopefully what people watching are learning is that your brain, that's, that is the muscle that that's you it. have been working yeah. out the hardest Constantly. and you have to. Yeah, so, very yeah I think that's a, a great point. You know, again, you're, you're, you're summarizing these ideas that we're getting very long winded on sometimes in, in a very good way and understanding yeah. that, yeah, at the end of the day, you know, passion is, you know, something that you're only going to, to really feel because yep. you're, 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 you know, you're yeah. focused. You're, yep. you're searching for it. You're, you're reflecting on it. And that reflection, that, that aspect is coming from, you know, the mentality of being able to be in the moment, right? Yep. And, you know, my mind is, is constantly working. It's constantly pumping yep. blood through my body, whatever it is that I'm doing, but I'm always yep. trying to be a better version of me right. through understanding myself more. So again, to the, my point of saying, it's not like I have it all figured out, right? Just because I understand what yeah. I'm somewhat passionate about or am passionate about doesn't mean that I'm not going to find new things that I'm passionate right. about or grow on that passion yeah. or find a better way in which to, to invite that passion into my own life or yeah. share that passion with others. Yeah. And I think that that comes from the, you know, the idea of, of, of constantly evolving myself but, but, but researching and, and, and observing my surroundings both physically and then also again what conversations like this can really yeah. have an impact on you know I'm gonna go after this conversation and go sit in my office for at least yeah. 10 minutes before I go into some training yeah. and the rest of my evening and really just try to reflect on it and, and, yeah. and take away as much as I can yeah. you know from from this just as much as we're trying to provide to others yeah. this is this is a, a two-way street here right yeah. and, 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 and our opportunity to learn and how what I said what I'm saying and what I have said really confirms who I am 
and, and what I do to be able to sit there and go, man, I, I'm, I'm doing what I should be doing. You know, right. and I think that's an awesome thing. Yeah. But just because I'm doing what I'm doing doesn't mean that this is the end all be all, that there's more to do, you yeah. know, and there's more to find out. There's more to discover. Yeah. So I love um, it, man. Yeah, it's awesome. It's I great. love it. Very cool. Very cool. All right, my man, well, anything else to add to the passion conversation? Man? I, th I think that you've done a great job making an intangible thing seem very tangible. To yeah, me. sure. So you, ma you made it very real. So. That's great. You know, it is. It's when you, when you find something that fills your heart, you know, again, it could be yeah. spreading jam on a piece of toast really well. Yeah. You know, yeah. whatever. Because JJ's you're so working hungry, on it. He's and, you know, yeah. whatever it is. <laughs> It is, it is an extremely uh, fulfilling and, and, and incredible emotion to have come over your body when you are confirmed like, man, I'm either doing it, what it is that I should be doing yep. or I'm on my way to do that or I'm discovering myself more. And I think yeah. that that's a wonderful thing. Because it's not what you're doing, it's who you're becoming. Who you're becoming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's awesome. It. It's great. So. Awesome. Well, cool. Well, very, dude, my man. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's been an awesome, awesome time. Dude. So, really? so good, so good, so good to catch up after all, <laughs> and, uh, after all these years, man. It's good stuff. So, yeah. but uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you for checking out the top three ways to stay burn proof for happiness and success. And a lot, of, like the word fulfillment, you, you, you said, like you got to fill your heart. It, it's so hard. There's so all the things that you can't see and you can't touch. Those are the things you got to focus on. You have Absolutely. to you have to pay attention to the things you can't see the most. Absolutely. And so, but the, my man, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, and everybody, thank you for joining us. Until next time. Stay, stay burn proof. Did I get it? Did I get it? <laughs> that was perfect. Dude, my man, get over here.